Hey, Matt, you seem to be in a, a bit of a groove here these last few days. Uh, what's kind of turned it around, do you think, for you over the, over the last week or so? Um, just trying not to chase hits. Um, I think I was kind of pressing a little bit the first couple of weeks uh, instead of just going up there and doing uh, what I do best, and that's just trying to hit the ball hard. Uh, that's kind of been my goal the past week, week and a half, is just try to go up there, put the ball in play hard somewhere, and it's been working for me. Has it been any easier getting more regular at bats to, to just kind of get a little bit in a, in a groove at the plate? Uh, it helps. Um, yeah, a little bit. Uh, but I try to just control what I control. And when I get my name called, just go up there, put together a good at bat, and try to help the team win that night. Thank you. Thanks. Questions from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead, Alana. Matt, do you have to talk yourself out of pressing? Is it a mental conversation that you guys have sometimes to make sure that you're doing opposite of what your mind is telling you to do? Yeah, you just try to keep telling yourself positive thoughts um, and just really try to focus on the at-bat, focus on that play, that pitch, whether you're on defense, whether you're hitting, just trying to focus on uh, getting the job done. Uh, and just going up there, for me, it's just going up there and putting together good at-bats and hitting the ball hard and uh, making the routine plays on defense and doing what I can do to help the club win. How much do you think of this game at this level is mental versus physical? To be uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot mental and it's a lot physical as well. Uh, as long as you have positive thoughts, uh, try to not have those negative thoughts creeping in your head and just visualize your, yourself having success and hitting the ball hard and making the good plays on defense, it definitely helps. Um, and like I said, just for me, just going up there and, and visualizing, hitting the ball hard and, and doing something good for the team, it helps. How much better do you feel all around as a player now versus when you got called up last year? Around the same time this year, I guess. Uh, I would say my approach is getting better. Um, and just knowing how pitchers are going to attack me, uh, know what my strengths are versus their strengths and weaknesses, vice versa, whatever it is. Uh, just going up there with a game plan, every single at bat, uh, throughout the at bat, uh, noticing counts, how pitchers pitching, watching the guys in front of me, Seeger, Muncie, Belly, uh, Jock, all of those uh, left-handed bats and seeing how they're pitching those guys and uh, seeing if they're going to pitch me the same throughout the night. Um, I think that helps. Uh, uh, Freezer talked to me a lot, a lot about that last year, just watching the game and, and watching how the pitcher attacks guys in front of you and, and what's he landing for strikes, uh, how's he moving his fastball in, out of the zone, up, down, whatever it is. Just uh, going up there with a the game plan, that helps a lot. Do you still talk to David at all about any of it? Uh, I talked to him right before the season started, just just talking to him, uh, congratulating him for, you know, a uh, newborn. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a, he's a great teammate, and uh, he's missed this year for sure. But I think he I think he's doing all right. Thank you for your time. Next question is Eric Steven. Go there, Matt. I, I want to go back to like a month ago when when you made the opening day roster. It's your it's your first opening day roster. Um, how did you get that news? And then I guess secondary was did it make it weird given that you know nobody could be in the stands, like no family, no friends, like at just on opening day itself? Uh, Doc kind of broke the news to me and Eddie at the same time. Uh, we were in the dugout, and he just told us, congratulations, you both guys made the opening day rosters. Big accomplishment. Um, and, yeah, yeah, it was a little weird. First opening night, nobody being in the, in the seats. We had some of the cutouts, obviously. But, uh, uh, no, it was awesome. It's something I don't take for granted. Um, it's, it's an achievement to make an opening day roster. And, um, just to be on this ball club and, and compete uh, and, and win games as much as we do. It's, it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Next question is from Ken Gernick. Go ahead, Ken. Hey, Matt, for, uh, for like the first, uh, maybe the first three or four weeks, it seemed like, except for Seeger, all the left-handed hitters had trouble. And then it seems like in the last week to 10 days, all the left-handed hitters have kind of come alive. Is it something that all you hitters have done on your own as a group? Is it a reaction to something that you've noticed that the opposition pitchers were doing? How do you explain that kind of everybody's done it all at once, both ways? Uh, for one, hitting's contagious. So uh, once one guy starts rolling, I think it helps, you know, the other guys that are starting to press a little bit. Um, 
And at the same time, like, yeah, we're working in the cage we're, every single day. We're working, you know, on our mechanics, on our approach and everything like that. And uh, that's just baseball. Sometimes you go through a little slump or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just how the game works sometimes. And um, you're not going to keep those guys, Muncie, Billy, Jock, uh, guys like that. They're, they're not going to struggle that long. They're going to, you know, if the game evens out, finds a way to even out. And, and um, we're excited for when it does happen. And it's starting to happen now, obviously. Uh, but once, you know, everybody starts to get rolling, uh, it's going to be a really exciting lineup to watch. But it wasn't specifically a reaction by the hitters to a certain game planning that you were running into no matter which team you were playing? Uh, I, I think you just got to be mindful of what your approach is every single night, uh, seeing how pitchers pitch, um, seeing how they're attacking uh, each other. And I think we've done a better job of noticing – uh, what's going on in the game plan for the other team, for the other pitchers, how they're attacking our guys. And I think we've done a good job of adjusting to it. Thanks. Next question is from Jack Harris. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Matt. Uh, your your first pitch swing percentage is, is up pretty significantly this year. Is that on purpose? Is it a sign of, of confidence? Or is it just something that you're getting a lot more pitches early in, in the count to swing? Uh, I just try to go up there and be ready. Um, I don't like to, you know, go go up there. And if, if my timing's off a little bit, uh, maybe I'll see a pitch or two, see, uh, work the count, try to get my rhythm going and my timing going. But uh, right now I just uh, feel pretty good up there. Just go up there and try to hit the ball hard. And if it's, you know, over the plate and a pitch that I can drive, I like to try to pull the, pull the trigger as soon as possible and not waste any strikes. Um, and that's just kind of how it's going for me right now. It can change over time, but uh, that's just how the game's rolling for me right now. Was there anything that uh, approach-wise you tried to tweak just after, um, you know, getting your, your first year in the bigs uh, last year? Or um, have you felt pretty pretty comfortable just trying to trying to build off what you were working on a season ago this year? Uh, I think at times when I start to scuffle, I try to, you know, chase slugging. I tried to chase long ball and, and uh, trying to hit uh, the ball over the fence uh, too much. And sometimes that can get me into uh, bad mechanics, bad approach at the plate. Uh, and for me, when I'm clicking, when I'm going right, it's just going up there, um, trying to attack pitches in the zone and, and hit the ball hard, not necessarily try to drive it over the fence. It's just try to square it up, put it in place somewhere hard. And that's what seems to be working for me when I'm, when I'm going, going good. And when you mentioned earlier, um, you know, trying to over the course of the season, like see how guys are pitching you and adjust to it. Was that one of the hardest parts of quarantine? Like even if you were seeing live pitching, I'm guessing guys weren't like attacking you so much as they were just trying to work on their own stuff growing. Uh, yeah, that's tough. It's uh it's an experiment time for pitchers as well. They, uh, you know, they kind of go away from their tendencies of how they pitch in certain counts and stuff like that, trying to, you know, maybe land some off-speed pitches or, or pitch their fastball backwards uh, off to play, uh, places on the zone. So um, it's a time for experimenting for them as well. So uh, you try not to live at bats when it's not a game situation. It's a little bit different of a bat. You're just uh, trying to get something to hit and, and try to hit it hard. Um, so it's, it's obviously a little bit different than, than when the lights are on and, and it's a game and everything's on the line. Thank you.